Hi, I'm uh, Chris License, and this is our License to Travel. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'd like to share three-ish RV tips that we use on our own RV that might help you and who knows, one or all just might help you take your RV to that next level. The first is a thing we've been doing for a while, and that is to put a 10 amp standard automotive fuse in the seven pin pigtail connector. The pigtail that plugs from the camper to your truck or tow vehicle. We do it for a few reasons. Number one, because it allows us to test the lights on the RV. You know, to make sure you're replacing the right bulb on the right light. This can also give you some options for lighting at night that's not quite as bright and obnoxious as some of those bright LEDs that come with many RVs. You know, a lot of complaining about the cap lights on some of the fifth wheels being on all night. Three, another effect of this is that if you have backup and side cameras on your rig, Many of them are powered by those marker lights. That means you could bring the monitor in and use it as part of your security system. You know, general surveillance. There are other ways to wire up those cameras to have them on, but it can be cumbersome and expensive to do. And this is just really easy and cheap. You could use a type of jump start device or just tie it into an existing 12 volt circuit, like those puck type LEDs that uh, you have throughout the RV, the ones that they're putting them in now, to power the monitor that you'd bring in from the truck. To do it, that's put the fuse in, just locate the alignment ridge on the RV side of the plug and slip that standard auto fuse to bridge the connectors either side of that ridge. Kind of like this. Then tuck it up out of the way so it doesn't get bumped or wet and just be sure to remove it when you're done with it. The next one is really easy and can actually help to maintain temperature in the RV. We've added Reflectix to the inside of our cabinets. Uh, let me be a little more specific. To the cabinets where their backs and or sides face an outer wall. We had noticed that our pantry and other storage areas would get quite hot in the summer months because, face it, there is generally no air conditioning in there and the sun can really bake what's inside. We have toppers on all of our slide outs and that helps a lot, but short of hanging shade screens all over the outside of our rig, the next best thing was to custom cut and staple insulation to the inside of these cabinets, their inner walls. Laugh if you want, but it really does seem to help, and it can get to 121 degrees Fahrenheit here in the Sonoran Desert. Also, no more pre-cooked pantry items. Pro tip, while you're stationary, you might consider leaving those cabinet doors ajar, open, so that they can equalize to the rest of the RV that's equalized in temperature. 
We also store dry goods towards the outer walls and more delicate items towards the center or inner part of the RV. Our last tip is really cheap as well. When we park, we have a system. Shelly gets out with either her phone or one of our ham radios and directs me back into our campsite. We keep a small tape measure in her passenger's captain seat door pocket that she takes with her as she gets out. She does that so she can measure the distance the slide comes out so that we can position the RV in a spot where we won't have to reposition and still give us maximum use of our campsite. To make it easy, we measure the longest protruding slide and add a couple of inches and mark its length on the tape. We also mark the tape with the swing and down position of the stairs and our awning. That way there won't be any guessing as to whether we're too close or not, or that we have adequate clearance from obstacles like power pedestals, sewer and water connections, picnic tables, trees, fences, light poles, and decorative additions to the site. This beats the heck out of a stick with those markings on it that always seems to get misplaced. It's always just right there in the passenger's door pocket. Super handy and easy. Yeah, what could be easier, more compact, and handier than a cheap tape measure right there ready to use? So a quick recap. 1. A 10 amp auto fuse. 2. Reflectix. And 3. A tape measure. Three simple and inexpensive things that you may already have to make things easier for you and your RV. So with that, this should do it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos about RVing, subscribe. Now, if we don't see you out on the road, maybe we'll see you right here on our next video. Until then, please, travel safe.